Welcome back cuties. We're going to get started on math and today we're going to continue working on multiplication and practicing our skills. Okie dokie, let's go. Let's start with our we will. Repeat after me. We will be able to use order and grouping to multiply. Okay, so we've been talking about multiplication and we're going to continue doing that. So it says on the previous page, which is what we did on Tuesday, um, we saw that the order of the factors in a multiplication problem does not matter. So if you know what 2 times 3 is, which is 6, then you also know what 3 times 2 is, which is also 6. So it's kind of like our addition where we can flop them around and it doesn't really matter, right? Sometimes you need to multiply three numbers together and so you can use parentheses to show which numbers you want to multiply first. So let's look at the problem below. It says Jaden bought four boxes of hot dogs. Each box has two packs inside of it and each pack has five hot dogs. So how many hot dogs did she buy? So one way, so let's look at this first way that's going to show us. It says one way to think about this is to first find out how many packs there are and then multiply that number by the number of hot dogs in each pack, which is five hot dogs. So let's take a look at that first set of pictures. So it says four times two packs, because Jaden got four packs, I'm sorry, four boxes, but each box has two packs. So we have the four times two, our four boxes times two packs is eight packs in total. Okay, so now we know that we have eight packs with five hot dogs. So now we have to figure out what eight times five is. So we would do... 8 times 5, and we can count by 5's on that one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we know that 5, I'm sorry, 8 packs of 5 hot dogs each is 40 hot dogs. We can also do it another way. So let's look at that bottom picture now. It says to think about this is to first find out how many hot dogs there are in each box. Then you would multiply by the number of the boxes, which is four. So we know that in one box we have two packs of hot dogs and each pack has five hot dogs in it. So we would start off by doing two times five, which we know is ten because we know that the double of five is ten. So then we know that there are ten hot dogs in each of the boxes. So now all we have to do is multiply 10 times 4, which is our boxes, and then we know whenever we multiply anything by 10, we just add a 0 to it. So 4 times 10 is 40 hot dogs. All right, and next we have a problem that we are going to be looking at, and this is the problem that you're going to be using to answer your questions today on Google Classroom. So make sure you're paying attention, and this will also be posted on the Google Classroom so you can take a look at it some more when you do your assignment, okay? So the problem says, Chad reads books at the library each week for six weeks. So he read, I'm sorry, he read three books each week. So he went for, th for six weeks, whew, Chad went for six weeks, and he read three books each week. Mia read books at the library each week for three weeks, and she read six books each week. So who read more books at the library, Chad or Mia? So our first picture is showing us Chad's books that he read. So he went for six weeks, 
So we have six groups of books there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six groups. And in those groups, there are three books because each week he read three books. So there's a group of three, 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 three. Okay. But on Nia's, she read for three weeks. So we have three groups of books. One, two, three. With those groups of books, she read six books each week. So we have a group of six, another group of six, and the last group of six. Okay. So what they want us to do is they want to figure out who read more books. So what we could do is we could count the books, we could use our repeated addition skills that we have, or we could even multiply. But we could, what we also can do is we can use our arrays that we've learned about. So Chad's array looks like this one where it has the six rows, and then in each row there are six books. I'm sorry, in each row there are three books. And then for Mia, her array has three rows, but in each of her rows she has her six books. So I want you guys to keep an eye out for that visual on Google Classroom because that those books and those visuals of the books are what you're going to use to answer the next slide. Alrighty my friends, so using the problem that we just went over with the books with Chad and Mia, I want you guys to use that information to help you answer questions two through six. Okay, then you're going to answer questions seven and, seven and eight on the bottom of this page. And you're going to do that all on Google Classroom. The, the problem with the books, the, that visual will be up on Google Classroom. And this page will also be up on Google Classroom so that you can make sure that you're copying down the questions and you're answering the questions correctly using that visual, okay? Um, make sure you are using your piece of paper at home, you're putting your date on it, you're numbering your problems, and then you're answering them. You do not have to copy down the question if you do not want to, but you can if that will make it easier for you. It's up to you. Um, but, yeah, that is it. So you have questions two through eight to answer. We will be able to use order and grouping to multiply. All right, cuties. So now that we've gone over our math lesson, I'd like you guys to head on over to Google Classroom where you guys can go answer your questions from the that we just went over, okay? Um, you have questions two through eight, two through eight <laughs> to do on Google Classroom. And remember, all you have to do is copy those questions down onto your piece of paper at home and answer them at home. And then that's all you have to do. You just have to hit the submit button, but you do not have to submit anything, okay? Um, after you are done with your questions on Google Classroom, I'd like you to spend 10 to 15 minutes on Prodigy, okay? And then meet me back here after you're done with Prodigy because we're going to do another read aloud for today just so we can get our book done by the time that we're done with school for this year. Okie dokie, Smokies! Head on over to Google Classroom!